Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 20, 2020. If you'd like to uh, uh, join you will, or support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you want to get access to the full technical analysis for the, every commodities uh, on eToro, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is in this uh, post or down below in this video. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly today, all the way from uh, we start around here, 92.25 and all the way up to 92.63. And of course, this had a major effect on commodities, on indices and so on and so on. But at the end of this session, or the US session, we broke down again. But I don't think that we are going to go significantly lower from here. And the reason why I say that is basically because of the CCI. This has turned around quite significantly. Um, I know that the other indicators are um, looking fairly bearish at this point, but we are at a very significant um, support area. And of course, if this breaks, then we're going all the way down to 91.777. And after that, the gates just open for significantly lower levels. We'll go all the way down here. And that, of course, will have a major effect on stocks, uh, commodities, precious metals, and so on, uh, on the, to the opposite side. They will basically rally. But I don't see that happening now. Could be wrong, but I don't see that happening now. What I expect to happen here is that we'll go and rally towards the 50 moving average again. Um, we'll see the stochastic turn around first, and then the RSI, and then we'll see the MACD turn around. So if we test the 50 moving average here, then of course oil will fall, uh, uh, gold will fall, and also indices, which now at this current um, uh, time are very, very overbought. So a rally above the 50 moving average opens the door to 93.8, then to 93, 94.3, and then all the way to 94.8. So we'll look at the oil market or WTI. And as you can see, we pulled back quite significantly in the trading center. We went all the way down to 31.25. And now we have rallied all the way up towards the $42 level. And this is, in my point of view, just a, a shorting uh, probability uh, possibility. We have been here several times before. Um, I won't panic in this market until we basically break uh, 33 point, uh, uh, basically 33. When that breaks, then we probably head towards uh, 35 and even to 50. But we haven't done that. And... At this point, these technical indicators, especially the CCI and the stochastic, are looking fairly negative, and uh, we only need uh, MACD to turn around in the, at this point. So I know that most of this rally has been due to vaccine, but um, the vaccine will not make us use more oil. So there's no real correlation between delivering a vaccine and the uh, and more consumption of oil. That will probably come much, much later as the vaccine will come much later. So it's fantastic that we have a vaccine, but the market has completely overreacted, especially here and also here. And um, at this point, I think this market will just turn around. This is basically a shorting uh, opportunity uh, to take a short and to have a stop loss right above here. And the short will be, the target will be the 50 moving average, at least the $40, $40 range, and then the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we go all the way back towards the 200 and also, or the $33 level. Because nothing has really changed in the world economy. Of course, we have a vaccine. We have hope that this uh, virus is going to end, but still, we need to use oil in order to, to to, uh, to uh, increase demand, and that is not happening at a rapid pace at this point. So we'll go and look at the copper market. 
So copper fell the last uh, three trading days. We uh, or two trading days. Today we fell again towards 3.16, and then we rallied. Um, I think this is a false rally. If you look at the technical indicator, especially the CCI and the stochastic, this is a market that's going to go towards the 50 moving week average. If you pull, uh, if you rally even more from here, that only means that the fall will be um, more significant. Uh, we only need the MACD to basically turn around and cross the signal line in order for this market to go significantly lower. No interest in basically buying this. This is um, um, this move looks very similar to what happened here. We had a massive rally, fall back towards the 50 moving average, and then we had a massive rally, a fall back towards the 50 moving average. And we'll probably go a little bit higher every single time, but that's how this market has been reacting. We'll have the 50 moving average traveling this way and probably going a little bit flat, but this move looks very similar to this. And you can also see the shape of the CCI is nearly identical what has happened over here and also what is happening over here. So expect a fall in the copper market, not a significant rally, but it could happen. Uh, so if you look at uh, gold, we can see that we have fallen even further in this market, but we have this significant support area here, which we have tested time and time again, which is around 1850. So if 1850 breaks, that opens the door to 1800 and you will see a massive amount of buying when that occurs. So 1800 was also the area where we rallied from. So when we were at 1800, we rallied all the way up towards 2000, nearly 2100 before we gradually declined again. And we haven't tested this area uh, again, but it is right here, just above the 200 moving average. And that would be nearly a perfect entry for a very long uh, position for gold. So I have no interest in basically trading this until we uh, have a confirmation whether or not we are going to rally from here or we fall towards the 1800 and rally from there. I would bet on the 1800 level. That's what I'm waiting for. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we have to continue our decline from this, uh, this rally. This should be a massive warning to everybody that is thinking about buying into this market because when the CCI is this negative, it is a very clear sign that we are going to break down quite significantly. We'll test this area first, 0 0.1396, then head towards this area at 0 0.1430, and this is probably as slow as this market is going to go. And the reason why I say that is because the 50 moving average will, will travel this way and it will um, enter this price level uh, probably at the same time that the uh, um, candlestick is going to enter this price level and then we'll basically bounce from there. So that's what the trade I'm looking for. I'm no interest in basically buying it now, no interest in basically selling this. This is a wait until we pull back towards the 50 as far as possible. And that is very likely because all of these indicators are looking dreadful for this market. So if you look at Kakoa, Kakoa has continued its rally, but we are nearing this very, very high here. So we'll probably have one more day of bullishness towards the uh, 2.7. And then you'll just see a massive amount of selling occurring, and this will drop at least down towards the, the 50 moving average. Probably you can look at the Fibonacci retracement. If we go all the way up here, then we have the first Fibonacci retracement here at 2.524, and then the 50 is around here at around the 50 moving average, which is a 2.473. And that is, in, in my, if I were to, to bet, I would bet that we basically go all the way down here to the 50. Uh, we maybe turn turn around and then rally again when if this happens to be support, but we are significantly overstretched. These technical indicators are turning around. There's a, probably a little bit of room to the upside, touch here, and then fall all the way down towards the 50 moving average. That is most likely what is going to happen. The RSI is at 70 at the moment. If we were to rally above here, the RSI will go at least over 80, and then we will have an even 
bigger fall towards the downside. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis of the commodities market, um, and you have all uh, 13 commodities that are available on Etero um, on, on the Patreon channel. So, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.